We are in the daytime kitchen with Kimberly Butterfield from the Virginia Cooperative Extension. Welcome back to the show. Thanks so much for having me. Yeah, and thanks for coming for our back to school week. Yeah. You know, we're talking back to school and we're going to offer up some back to school healthy snacks mm -hmm. for, for parents to prepare for their kids. But let's talk about this Eat Together initiative. What is going on with that? So Eat Together is an initiative that we celebrate every year. It's in partnership with the United Way, Prevention Council, YMCA, and all of our local school systems. And it's really to get families thinking as we get back into school routine, how can we make time to eat together um, and be active together and talk together. So it's not just eating a meal. There's other opportunities to bond with your kids. Yeah, okay. what does EAT stand for? Yep. So EAT is is our acronym for eat together, active together, talk together. Okay. Very yes. cool. Yes. And why is it so important for families to eat together? Well, what we know is that, especially as kids get older, one of the protective factors against risky behaviors is spending time with your parents. So we really want um, people to get in the habit of that very early with your children and make sure that we continue at that throughout the teenage years just to make sure that parents are in the know, they know what their kids are up to, know who their friends are, and can protect them against some of the things that are out there. Yeah, I like the acronym because it's, yeah, it's not just eat together, but yeah, if you don't have, a lot of kids are active, they're in, you know, sports sure. and they can't sit down to a dinner. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, you can, I mean, yeah. go and go for a hike on a Saturday Absolutely. morning or something. Yeah, Just so it doesn't necessarily something. have to be a dinner table. It could yeah. be a breakfast table. It could be going for a walk after mm -hmm. dinner. It could be, you know, whatever it is, that time that you can carve out with your family to really make sure that you know what's going on with your kids. And then cool. Eat Together Week is September 24th through 28th. Yeah, right? so about a month okay. away. So we've got a month to think about it, really right. kind of get back into the routine, like I said, and, and find some time to be together. I love it. All right. We are back in the daytime kitchen with Kimberly Butterfield, and we're talking about healthy snacks for your kids' lunches the school year. And I need you here because <laughs> sure. we make the same things. Yep, absolutely. Time and time again, uh -huh. over and over. Yeah. 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 Okay, mm -hmm. so let's get started. What do you have for us? Okay, so this is a, just a slightly different take on a no bake cookie. And the thing that I like about this recipe is, you know, there's no knives, there's no heat, so you can get any age kid in the kitchen helping make their own snacks, so it doesn't all fall to the parents. Yeah. Um, nice. And so it's a no-bake cookie that's mostly um, graham cracker. Um, there's whole wheat graham crackers out there now, which is really nice and a little healthier for you. Um, raisins, which you could substitute with any kind of dried fruit. We're going to use creamy peanut butter. You could use any other kind of nut butter or sunflower butter if you have an allergy. And then some honey and um, some unsweetened coconut flakes to, to roll the cookie in. Hmm, okay, cool. I have all these ingredients at home. Yeah, all and right. most people do, right? Yeah. So it's all pretty um, okay. stuff you could find in your pantry. All right. So what I've done is um, put all of the um, graham crackers into just a gallon Ziploc bag and this is a fun thing for kids too because you're just going to roll it um, rolling pin can of you know beans or soup or whatever you want to yeah. give them mm -hmm. um, they just want to squish it and yeah. I don't know a kid yeah. that doesn't I don't yeah, know a kid that doesn't love to crush, love to crush things yep. right yeah. exactly so we're going to take this and then we're going to toss it into a bowl um, with all of the other ingredients that we have there um, so just and add it, it and yeah it's just a you know dump it all okay. in so okay. feel free to sure throw right. that in there except mm -hmm. for the coconut flakes we're going to okay. have that the last part for the rolling okay and everybody so i find that there's different sizes of granola or not granola graham crackers um so sometimes you have to add a little more peanut butter or a little more honey if your if your uh mixture is too dry right. but we're just gonna um mix it in and again this is a place where if you really just want your kids to get in there with um, their hands mm -hmm. and squish that peanut butter around. Yeah. That is totally fine too. Mm -hmm. um, so I eventually know. it's going to work into um, what you have there, which is uh, more of a. It looks like cookie dough. It's, it's like, like a. Is it yeah. like cookie dough Absolutely. texture? It is. Okay. It's, it's like an edible Play Doh for your kids. Um, Love so it. So you can just roll it into a ball or whatever size. And I saw shape you doing you this earlier in the show. Is this, yeah. is this right? Yep. You're, okay. you're doing it perfectly <laughs> right. Yep. <laughs> And so those are perfect. Um, they're great to keep in the oh, fridge yeah. just so they don't get too sticky or whatever, but um, easy, quick, that was really on easy. the go. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, absolutely. I love that. And then um, what else do you have here? You have a couple other things up front. Yeah, so I just brought some different examples. Um, you know, our advice to parents is always make the healthy choice the easy choice. Mm. Um, okay. So you know, it doesn't, it doesn't take a lot of uh, a thought, just a lot, little pre-planning. Um, we've got a deli meat wrap there with a whole wheat tortilla, so that's an easy swap to make something a little healthier. Mm -hmm. um, of course, having fruits and vegetables pre-cut, especially maybe in like a little um, snack bag, yeah. something like that. 
Um, and then make your own trail mix. We always have activities with kids where they can go through and take a couple different scoops of, That's of different things and Very pack cool. that up. My and kids always love the crunch. Mm -hmm, absolutely. Course, you know, cheese and apples is always cheese great and apples. with protein. Yep. Yeah, absolutely. and just a reminder, Eat Together Week is September 24th through 28th.